So this is how you grow aggressively with small gardens. Now this bed is 32 feet by four feet by a foot deep. Now, some of the things that we do here, like we grow here and we grow uh, this is curly kale and then we have parsley right beside it. The parsley is something that we use in our salads and our juices and our uh, products and at the same our spices spice products and at the same time we grow that there so that it will keep the bugs away because the bugs like curly kale and as you can see this is quite luscious they like to eat this stuff so we grow that there and then at the same time we grow lettuce now lettuce and then here we have beets so we have beets and lettuce is raw greens bugs like the greens but they don't like the parsley so much so we grow lots of um, greens together that are you know they grow they can grow in harmony um, here we have curly parsley and those are great for our spices and um, our juices and at the same time they um, ward off bugs so here we have, we don't use any artificial means or any chemicals to keep the plants green and healthy. So we use what the plants have to offer. Here we have dandelion. Dandelion, um, the bugs don't like the dandelion um, so much either. So we grow those and then we use those for our different purposes, food, juice, and products. Here we do have a weed, as some people call a weed. We like this weed because um, we eat this one. This is um, lamb's quarters. And um, we use that a lot in our juices and our um, meals. And at the same time, this section that I just showed you, this section is only four feet. It's only about a four foot section right there. And we plant everything densely. And that's how we um, use this to suppress the weeds. So the only person that came up here that wasn't invited was the, the lamb's quarter right here. So far, we've been able to use this to overshadow the weeds so we don't get that much action. We do get some weed growth, as you'll see later on, but not to any um, great potential that we have um, to really spend a lot of time worrying about. So. We have more dandelion here because um, we have lots of people who buy dandelion tea. Uh, people use it for all kinds of purposes. It's a very good cleanser for the body, keep the internal uh, organs um, in great shape. So we use that. And as you can see here, we got romaine lettuce. That's romaine growing right there and everybody's bunched up together and they keep they help to keep the ground cool so here we have coriander in between the dandelion and here we have cauliflower right here so cauliflower is coming up and the coriander um, help to keep the bugs off and at the same time we use the leaves in our juices, use the leaves in our salads. We uh, pickle the leaves while we're waiting for the middle section to come of age so we can have the, the cauliflower, um, what you call the fruit, the fruit. Here we have beets. Beets, we use the same thing. We make juices with them. We, um, we, make, uh, we cut them up and put them in our salads. We cook with them. Um, we also... Uh, wait for the the beet to come up so we can use that and uh, as you can see coriander and then we have also um, onions coming up in between the um, 
cauliflower and the coriander and the um, dandelion because that's another way to suppress the bugs. They don't like the smell of these, so um, and they don't like the taste of these, so they don't mess with them so much. Also, here we have uh, other types of lettuce, and we have other types of lettuce, and then we have onions growing in between. And as you can see, you you might see some bugs here. You might see a little bug action here and there. We, you know, you can see some bug action there on the leaves. But it's not to the point where we have to really make a big deal about it because we're getting so much food in return for this tremendous results from this type of bed. Um, that's why when we have our workshops, we teach people about how to do this because it's really amazing what you can accomplish once you put the package together properly. And this is something that we teach. Um, here's some more dandelion. So we have lettuce and then we have dandelion and then we have potatoes. These are red potatoes. And as you can see, the red potatoes are um, performing really, really nicely. Um, in these bald spots right here, now that we have the potatoes up, we're going to plant some more things. Garlic, peppers, onions, um, some more plants that uh, will be upright. Maybe some more medicinal plants. We'll plant those. And as you can see, potatoes are doing quite well. So that is... 32 feet growing right there 32 feet by 4 feet and we get amazing results all the time and then here we have peas as you can see the peas are doing quite well in their section you can see that the ground is quite healthy looking and there's some flies there some bugs but nothing that we have to be overly concerned about this is another section right here 32 feet and we have lettuce we have um, colored greens we have onions we have beets we have uh, celery right here just coming up and then we have dill over there with onions growing in between scallions growing in between sometimes leeks growing in between as you can see and then we have holy thistle that we use for some of our teas and some of our um, other products that we make then we have more dandelion we harvested this dandelion so you see the holy thistle looks really high but the, the dandelion is low because we harvested those recently and they're coming back now that's another thing that we can keep the beds growing maybe have some more lambs quarters right there and also some more parsley. A couple more lamb's quarter plants right there coming up in between. And as you can see, there's not much problems with bugs or anything like that. And also people think that these beds are uh, hard to maintain because you have weeding. When we planted just solely out in the open, we found that there was more work to be done. These are more um, um, lamb's quarters coming up. Then we have a lot of curly kale on this section here. As you can see, we got plenty of curly kale coming up and they have onions growing in between. As you can see right there, onions growing in between. And then we have uh, fennel growing right here. And as you can see, the fennel is quite bushy. You have lots of fennel, lots of fennel. And it smells really good and that's another thing that some bugs like it, some bugs don't. We grow a lot of it. So as you can see, it's very, um, it's in a very aggressive fashion of um, growing. And you don't have a lot of space. And we put as many of these beds all over our yard, as we our, our land as we possibly can, because we realize that when you don't have good soil, the plants struggle. 